With the new Steam Deck coming out, I see a lot of people talk about gaming with it, you know, portably. But I also hear a lot of people saying like, oh boy, I can't wait to play Factorio on my PC and then play it three feet away from my PC on my Steam Deck. So do you really need that kind of device to just stream inside your house? I don't think you do. <laughs> so as you can see, this is not a Steam Deck. They don't exist yet. I'm worried they will never exist knowing Valve time. But this is an exploitable Nintendo Switch. So if your Switch is from about 2018 up until maybe the beginning of 2019, it is exploitable so you can actually run custom firmware on it. After that, Nintendo got mad and patched it as they tend to do. So with this Switch, I'm not running the Nintendo Switch software. I'm running Android. And that kind of opens up a whole lot of possibilities that just should not happen. I don't want to go through a full guide on how to, you know, jailbreak, I guess is the term everybody else would think of, your Switch. That's a bit out of the reach of this video and half of you guys probably won't even be able to do it, sadly. But I'll show you quickly just how I get into it. So first off, I'm still in the default Switch software. Now, when I exploited this, I did not change the internal memory. It's running off of the SD card, which, Funny enough, you can be running a whole lot of stuff off of your SD card with your Steam Deck. So you gotta start and, come on buddy, it's Nintendo, what are you gonna do? You gotta hold down the power button until it tells you to power off and then you go and completely turn it off. So if you were to look very closely and my old man eyes can't see very well anymore, Inside, there's a few pins where your Joy-Cons connect to transfer, you know, input, and to charge. So if you bridge two of those pins and hold down the button just right, the switch goes, wait, what? And it lets you break into it, like if you were a, at the factory. Like if you were a, um, yeah, if you were like a developer or someone doing QC on the switches out of the lot. But I do not want to be shoving paper clips into my switch. This is precious, this is exploitable. So I went through the hassle and bought, they call them a little jig, is what they call it. I bought one off of Amazon for like, come on buddy. <laughs> so I bought a $10 jig off of Amazon. It's just like 3D printed with the two little pins already lined up. You just take it and just, and it clicks in there and you're good to go. So your switch is USB type C, so you know, Type-C cable to your computer, plug her in. Then you go to a program that I have hidden on here somewhere. Okay, actually it's Tegra RCM. So there's a program you can use and you're flashing over a specific file that actually doesn't stay on the Switch. That's the beauty of it. Nintendo can't figure out that you're doing anything um, that they would consider horrifying. <laughs> Um, unless you modify like the Switch OS itself and you try and connect with that. But if you're just doing like Android or Linux, you can put Linux on here. Uh, they can't tell anything. It's, it's a temporary thing. So load up the program and then I got to put, what was it? Power and volume up. No, you see it turned back on again. Thanks Nintendo. <laughs> it's, it's a little finicky like that. The Switch likes to do what it thinks is right. Make sure the jig is in. I had that problem last night where I'm like, why won't it work? And it's like. There we go. So now it says RCM OK, which is just, I forget what that stands for, right? You just go and inject the payload, and then the switch boots up into a custom thing. Laptop, you can go to sleep now, we don't need you. So that's how easy it is? Like, just, you just inject payload and it just fires up a bootloader of some sort on there? Yeah, so, so it's pretty straightforward. There's like a few drivers you have to install, and there's a specific file you need to download. It's like Hecate, Hecate, I don't, Hecate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you download a specific file and you flash it over. And that's, that's all. it's temporary too. But the downside is you have to do this every single time you turn the switch off and you want to turn it back on to this mode. There's a trick to make it automatically reboot into this menu, but you're technically soft bricking the switch every time. And that's scary to me. This is precious. This is exploitable. I'll just stick to doing it this way. There's even a phone app where you just connect it to the phone and the phone will send it over. So that's the easy part. The hard part is getting the SD card formatted and everything like that, but there's tools now available and the guides are very easy to follow, unlike before. 
So yeah, you get on the screen, just go to more configs and you select the Android. Like I said, I've done all the work already. If you want a more in-depth guide, let us know in the comments and maybe we'll try and get that for you. But since you need to have a very specific and at this point older switch to do it, I don't know how much interest you guys will really have in it. Uh, the Switch Lite doesn't work with it, the new Switch OLED won't work with it, and the Switch, um, they released a Switch a while ago that was just Switch, but better battery life. <laughs> but they had a die shrink on the CPU, and that won't work either. It has to be an OG Switch. So this is running Lineage OS, it's what we used to call Cyanogen Mod back in the good old days. It's just Android without any of the other stuff. Wow, that actually boots up a lot faster than it used to. Maybe my SD card's just kind of, you know, getting into it. Oh, it's still plugged in. Windows is like, what are you doing? What is this device? So, put your jig somewhere safe. Because it's annoying to order a new one. The beautiful thing is that the Joy-Cons work now. The, the older version was a little finicky. Um, and you have to do a step when you're first installing it to make sure the Joy-Con info is sent over. But... Wait a minute. Because I know it works. I just know it's also like, you know, janky. it's got teething problems, you know? So when you plug them in and they just, it just works. It's just funny because it was the opposite way before. <laughs> like before they only connected through Bluetooth. Uh, I probably just have to manually tell them to connect. That's probably what's going on here. Sure, have access to my call history Joy-Con. So it's not perfectly seamless. Again, this is a custom, you know, labor of love by a bunch of board developers, but Joy-Cons work wirelessly, they work docked on, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So just like with your Android phone, whoa, no, 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 you, you be careful, was that drift? <laughs> you know it. No, 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 no. So <laughs> just like with your Android phone, uh, you just download Steam Link and launch that. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Gab's PC and try and mess with him. So I've connected to Gab's PC and we're working with a very modest 5950X and only a 3060 Ti. Poor Gab has been sacrificing a 6900 XT for content for you guys. So make sure you get subscribed so he doesn't feel as bad. Hey Gab, what ratio is this? Is this 16.9 or 16.10? Keep your heart out. <laughs> it's 16.9. So, uh, I don't know, what game do I want to play? Cyberpunk? Obviously. It's the only game available. Luckily the touchscreen still works like it was your phone, so I can use that to navigate. Hopefully my Joy-Con isn't drifting or going crazy and it was just a menu bug. It's Joy-Con is a little beat up though. <laughs> the little cap kind of flew off into the sun a while ago. By the way, this is running off of an SD card, like on his PC. Stay tuned for that video. <laughs> Look at that. I'm playing Cyberpunk on my Nintendo Switch. This is actually running fairly well. Look at that, I can sprint. Oh, it, sh it stutters a little bit, but I am, yeah, you see, it I don't know if you could see, but it'll pop up in the corner here. I'll get the occasional like, uh, Wi-Fi signal with like yellow or blue or not blue <laughs> with like yellow or red because the signal's not super great in here I'm running off a router out there. So I might want to hop out there and play it. But I mean even here. Uh, it looks really nice uh, I don't know how to show them um, can you hook the, can you hook the, Is there a video out on the switch? So, so with Android on the Switch, OTG, which is how you do it, doesn't work. But if I hook it to the dock, it does work. I mean, it's just, it's just so they can see what it looks like streaming wise. Yeah. Honestly, the quality is pretty good. I don't know if it's streaming artifacting. Dang it, wouldn't. <laughs> see, it's Android. I got a pop up. <laughs> Funny enough, he's asking me to play Smash and I'm on my Switch. What do you know? <laughs> uh, so, you know, I really don't even see any compression artifacting and any graphical downsides, it's because it's a 720p screen on the Switch. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you're definitely downscaling. Honestly, I wonder if it would run better over the network if we were running at 720. I gotta look up how bandwidth works. <laughs> but it's not, it's not playing bad. No, it's it's playing wonderfully. No, no, I oh, shot okay. my gun in, in the, no! Uh-oh, <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> video, okay, so our video settings, uh, so it is set to balance, audio, okay. Just checking, like, what's more here? I haven't done this in forever. So bandwidth limit, frame rate limit, res limit. You got all these options here. It's it's just like what you're gonna see with the Steam Dock. You know, if you're just gonna play in your bed off of your gaming PC. Because we're gamers here, we all have good gaming PCs. If we can buy the parts. Honestly, by the time the Steam Deck's available, parts will probably be available. <laughs> There's gonna be like three whole people that get a hold of a Steam Deck on the uh, 
actual date of release. Hey, no one, I didn't get arrested. Let's go. All I did was shoot my gun in public. The cyberpunk, oh, you see, now I'm getting compression artifacting. Like I'm starting to see screen look all funny but it does look fantastic when you're right next to the router. Also, let's remember that the Switch's internal Wi-Fi is pretty bad. Ask any Smash player you know, it's pretty rough. Funny enough, uh, my LG G4, the phone I dropped in liquid nitrogen in a very old video, had better Wi-Fi reception than the Switch does. The phone still works, I what hate it. the Wi-Fi is still better? Hmm. <laughs> Probably, assuming the phone doesn't overheat and die. I don't like playing games on a controller, but it, it feels fine. You know, like, whoop, I threw a grenade in town. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Definitely going to jail for that one. Well, now I'm definitely going to jail. Uh, I didn't get a warrant for throwing the grenade. I only got a warrant for shooting someone. What do you know? What a country. So yeah, I get that not everybody has a Switch that's capable of this and not everyone's comfortable doing this, but it's a fun little thing to do. And honestly, you could do that with your phone or your tablet, or basically any device. Wait, how many devices could we play on at once? I would assume one, but I really stopped assuming after the Linux video. Co-op cyberpunk? What about, what about the tablet? Wait, what happens if you try and move? Oh no. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> okay, so now it's on my tablet. So here's the way it's meant to be played. You move with a joystick. Can I shoot with the button? No, I can't. Oh, no. Okay, so, so I don't know how, oh, I double tap to shoot. Okay, so I shoot with the with the S pen, so I'm aiming with a pen. <laughs> see, this is the way it's meant to be played. You'll see, you'll see this from your pro Call of Duty player soon. As I miss every shot. <laughs> this is why I'm not a pro. Four devices? <laughs> yeah, how many devices do we have in this house? Quite a few. All right, I'm getting shot because I shot somebody with my S Pen. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you're not playing... <laughs> you can see right here, they are all mirroring each other. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> Do any of them have more latency? Or are they all exactly the same? They look more or less the same, that's funny. So yeah, that's a fun little thing you can do with an older Switch or anything that can run Steam Link. Apparently all at the same time. So yeah, let us know in the comments uh, how many devices you got to run on your Steam Link. <laughs> Hop in the Discord, get subscribed, and we'll see you next time.